Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we uh, made it through this cave here, and we uh, are ready to take on the next Sanctuary boss, but Jeff is all by himself. How are we possibly going to do this? Uh, oh, only Ness can absorb the power of this place. But who's Ness? See, the Bubble Monkey even looks confused. Well, anyways, I'll show you one more thing here, too, uh, before we leave. Yeah, anytime you use this, you can have the monkey just go straight up and down. <laughs> so I think that's kind of funny. And, uh, yeah, we got the chicken. And so, all right, we're in good shape. And, uh-oh. Uh, okay. Hey, hey. And apparently the female monkey is not impressed by this male monkey. He's run She's running away from him. Isn't that like assault or something? Oh, well. Okay, now, this area can be quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Now, you need to, well, if you don't want to waste any of your rockets, I would suggest you run from these um, cave boys, because they can kill you uh, pretty quickly. But there's one thing I'm going to try and do, I want to take my chances here. Nope, uh, let's see. Oops. And if you, and unfortunately, they're pretty slow, so you, you can't run away from them. You'll be okay, see? Now, let's see if I can get it. There we go. Yeah, we can still get a picture taken here. And, uh, you know, you can... Um, obviously, you'll have to come back here to record the fourth melody at some point. So you can do this with Ness and your team, but... I feel like doing it now. Get it out of the way. Why is this random dude uh, creepily taking my photographs? Anyways, that's kind of weird. Uh, okay, let's see. And, yeah, we're not going to... Now, sometimes what you can do is if you want... Um... Oh, this is Stonehenge. Okay, that's cool. Um... If you want to, uh, you can uh, use one of your big bottle rockets, or you can use your big bottle rocket to kill it and uh, gain some experience, you know, to get up another level if you want. But we're actually going to save that big bottle rocket for a little bit later. And the regular bottle rocket plus your physical attacks might not be enough to kill one of the cave boys. So, totally up to you. But in the meantime, well, we got a weird scientist here. Hey, all right. And we get a free in stay there. Love it. Let's head upstairs. And, ooh, a treasure box. I think I'm all out of, all out of stuff, though. Yeah, so let's get rid of the... Uh, what can we throw away? And the defense spray. We'll get rid of that. Don't need that. And we get a broken pipe. Cool. I'll take it. And I'll talk to this guy. Ah, yes. Oh, so this is the dad. This must be Doctor and Donuts. Oh wow. Well, why'd you leave me, Dad? <laughs> How about a donut? Uh, sure. Oh, you don't have one. Uh, yes, I have. And uh, if you say yes or no, you get the same response either way. Yeah, yes. Man, she's pretty uh, powerful. She can sense that this doctor was here. Oh wow. Oh, the Sky Runner. Can I run in, uh, run through the sky there? Oh, uh, okay, fair enough. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> let's get together in another 10 years or so. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, he's even got the E equals MC squared there. This guy must be brilliant. The next version of Einstein there. Uh-oh, it's moving. It's moving. Okay, and away we go. All right. Now we're going to ride this little device here, and apparently the chicken's going to follow us all the way. And away we go. All right, so we get to head right over and uh, see where this thing takes us. This kind of reminds me of that journey in Seven Saga also. Hmm. Interesting place. I wonder what this town could be. The buildings are all off diagonally. It's kind of strange. Um, yeah, but this reminds me of that flight in the Seven Saga when you use the Mecha Glider and take it over to um, to uh, the Barluca continent there, that winter continent. Hmm, and we have a desert area. Well, of course you do, because if we have a winter area, naturally we have to have a desert area. Ooh, and there's a treasure box for us to get. It. Well, we've got to make our way here to this desert so we can get that treasure box. 
Okay, fly to the sky. There we go. Ah, Threed. Must be three because it's the only town in the game that's purple. Uh-oh. He's zoning in on something. Maybe. Well, it's it's picking up a signal. And it's circling this uh, town here. Wonder what it could possibly find. How smart is the Skyrunner? We're going to find out here, BCS Universe. I know this part of the game can be kind of boring, those of you that are playing this on a console, so I'll do my best to keep you entertained uh, while this is going on. Welcome to the circus. Oof, never really liked the circus. Man, it's still looking for its location. Hmm. Oh, is that slowing down a little bit? Oh, that's slowing down. It thinks it might have found something. Why is it stopping in the random in this graveyard? Uh-oh. Or maybe it's just out of juice. Boom! And <laughs> Jeff got fried. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit crushed. It's just a little crushed. It's still good. It's still good. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I don't really want to be your friend. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> and we have another new member of our team yeah so and now Jeff's on our team so all right again most importantly I think about this is that um, you know we finally have some inventory space back because that's pretty important now why has Jeff been brought here very simply to use the bad key machine and now we can break ourselves out of here awesome well let's keep right on moving then all right we have successfully made it out of that little prison. Now we need to go find those zombies and get revenge on them. But first, a little housekeeping is in order. Now I, uh, let's see, have I gotten this yet? No. Uh, let's see, let me make sure I know where I'm going. Okay, I know what I need to do first. A little bit of housekeeping is in order. Because we have some stuff here that we need to get rid of. Uh, and there's that lady in front of the hotel, which we're not going to worry about right now. Uh, let's see, go down here. Now, the game is moving a little bit slow here. I'm sorry about that. Ah, there's what I want to see. This dude right here. All right, yeah, this guy can definitely sell some stuff. So, first thing we need to do is sell some of our crap. So, uh, let's get rid of chicken. We don't need that. That'll work. Yes, and we're going to sell also our pop gun. We don't need that. Yep, get rid of that. And let's see, let's see, bum, 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 bum. bottle rockets, yeah, you know, you can buy some bottle rockets if you want, but uh, I'm definitely going to want to upgrade my gun, so where's the drugstore? Yeah, I'm definitely going to get some money to do that. Oops. Oh. <laughs> parents, oh, was that, oh, parents opposing obsession plan or poop. Yeah, that's pretty clever there, so, okay. Let's see, what do we need to do? Yeah, I can withdraw some money because, you know, I'm doing good on cash. Woo, $4,700. I wonder if you get money for beating enemies with Jeff. I think you do. Um, you know, I don't imagine why you wouldn't. But, uh, okay, so we're one, I'm going to want to upgrade the gun for uh, Jeff there. And like I said, you can buy some bottle rockets if you want, but I don't think it's really necessary. Buy a toy air gun. And we'll give it to Jeff. Yes. Ooh, good increase of his defense. Yep. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now what we want to do is we're going to want to... Wanna, where's the hospital? That's the next place I want to go is the hospital. Uh, and you would be thinking, well, why am I going to the hospital there, BCS Buster? Well, I'll explain. Because none of my guys are sick. But there's an item I forgot to get earlier. And I realized you can get this now. Oh, I see. Now, if you head up here... And I believe it's in this room. And check this, drawers. You get an insignificant item. And remember that for later, BCS Universe, because we're going to need to use that here in just a little bit. Oh, one more thing I forgot to do. Is there a phone here? No, I need to go somewhere where there's a phone. So I can make a call. Uh, where's the hotel? Uh, yeah, it's up there. I should, I should have done this earlier, but... Eh, you know what? I'll go to the drugstore because it's closer. 
And I know it's like, oh, but BCS Buster, you're going to pay a dollar. Believe me, I can afford a dollar. And I want to call that Cargo Express. Because I can drop off some enemies, some enemies, some items, um, to, I can drop off some items here. Uh, that I don't, I'm not going to need anymore. Okay, let's see. Now, where is the S-Cargo Express guy? Where is the S-Cargo Express guy? Ah, there he is. Uh, right. Yes, I can. And let's see. I want to get rid of... I'm not going to need the pack of bubblegum anymore. And I'm not going to need the... Oops. Uh, where is it? Bad key machine. not going to need that anymore. And I think that's it. Is everything else I can keep? Yep. Yep, so we don't need those anymore. Alright, excellent. And we're doing real good. Okay, one more thing I forgot to do um, back at the drugstore is I realized Jeff doesn't have any defense. So we probably need to equip him with some defense there. So let's withdraw a little bit more money. And we're going to want to withdraw about $400. And that should be enough for what we need. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to need to get a hard hat for Jeff so that he can actually have some defense. Yep. And yeah, we'll get rid of the Holmes hat. And we can also get him a copper bracelet. Oh, I don't have enough money. Crap. Okay, let's try that again. Draw. A couple of dollars. Okay, there we go. And now we'll get that copper bracelet. There we go. And the reason that I want to get there we go. And the re yeah, the reason I want to beef up Jeff is because his HP isn't very high. So we definitely gonna need him to have a little bit more boost in defense. So okay. Now the next thing we want to do is go south. Now I don't know how you're supposed to know to do this. But um if you go up here. Whoa! Garoog! And now it's time for a boss battle against the bogey tent. Now this only gets activated once Jeff is back on your team. Now the reason I say save the big bottle rocket is to use it here. Here we go. Whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot I had the teddy bear. Boom! Yeah, 405 damage. Nice job. This is why I really like Jeff on my team, because with those bottle rockets, he can kick some ass. Ooh, yikes. Boom! And just like that, we got him. Yeah, nailed it. Ooh, lots of experience. And Jeff should gain a level 2 here. Which he definitely needs. Come on, IQ, go up better. And good increase in his defense there. Or in his HP there. Hey, uh-oh. Zombies are running scared. And we get a jar of fly honey. Now, there's a definite reason why we want to have that. So, okay. But now we still need to deal with these zombies. How the heck are we going to deal with the zombies in this town? You're going to have to wait until next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.